Energy, my friend. Energy, you know? Come on. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Kinetic Sand interview along with me, James Walton. And Doug Kataponen. Hello, my name is Rasha Dadahi. Hi, I'm Abed. Uh, we're racing in Formula 4 for Prima, Prima Racing. And today we'll ask each other some questions and hope you guys enjoy. And we've noticed that you really enjoy watching uh, satisfying videos. So we've thought to uh, combine uh, an interesting interview about ourselves and uh, a satisfying video. What is your mobile wallpaper? Why did you choose this image? Uh, my mobile wallpaper is my picture from uh, F4. I think of every driver has themselves yeah. as their backpack. It's good to look in the morning, you see yourself and start a good day. Yeah. Here's a photo of me in the car, uh, one of my first test days um, with the Red Bull livery. Um, it was a really cool photo and I like to remember that because it's kind of the start of sort of my new journey of single seater racing. What is your favourite place in the world? Uh, my favourite place is in the world uh, to stay in Italy. Uh, the food is so good here. It's a nice place. Italy is my favourite place. Um, Vicenza, Vicenza, because this is where Prema is. Uh, no, um, uh, probably home. Um, so uh, in Surrey is where I live. Um, that's probably my, my favourite place. If you had to give your car a name, what would it be? Tiger. Because uh, I have had to get that name from the commentator in F4 UAE. Do you have any hidden talents? Yeah, I have one hidden talent, but it's not really hidden, but I can juggle. I think I should join the circus if I ever stop racing, but yeah, I can juggle. That's the only hidden talent I have. I play the piano. Um, I play quite I play quite often. I feel like it's a nice way to relax and a nice way to do something in the free time. Um, for me, not not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you had to live in a video game, what would it be? Live. Live like inside of the game. Uh, Formula One. Because it's my dream. Good answer. <laughs> I think um, if I had to be living in a video game, I would. Um, I think it would be cool if it could be something about sports, like a living uh, sports career. Uh, I think basically it's similar to what we're doing now, but uh, yeah, I guess in a video game. If you could grant three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. One, I wish to be in Formula One one day. Two would be I wish everybody happiness. I think everybody should be happy. And then three, I wish uh, there was no like uh, wars or anything. Like everyone was at peace and there was no problems. Or well, I would, if I could grant free wishes, I would like to grant every single person a possibility to do what they love. Uh, if it's a sport, a job, a uh, career, and uh, I think uh, good, uh, a fair starting point for each person. I'd say sort of similar to Rashid on that, one of those points, sort of uh, equal opportunities for everyone. Because I think some of us are much more fortunate, sort of especially as you know, to be able to do a sport like this. And there's many people in the world who don't have that, that luxury. So I think, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't like to be cooked because that means that someone's eating me. But um, I, I think the soft way, a kind way, uh, maybe not burn me, uh, try to be quite nice. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe boiled because you'll kind of die quite quickly. So no, it's kind like, of the experience. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that painful. <laughs> yeah, I guess not being cut it up before. What are your passionate about outside of the racing? Uh, I think I'm quite passionate about overall sports like I think for everyone in racing as well as in general I think if you do a sport you love other sports because you know how 
people are like determined or passionate for what they do. So I think for me, I just love doing other sports, especially golf, especially paddle now in Ferrari that we have a lot of paddle games together. I think, yeah, just passionate about the sport overall. Um, well, it depends if they're friendly. <laughs> if they're not nice, I would send them to the, the farthest person I know. Um, if I guess if they're a bit nicer, then I would send them to the, maybe the leader of the country, the smartest person I'd know. Um, I would, of course, ask them for us, like if they needed anything uh, that I could help with. Well, I'd, I'd obviously like have a chat with them, see, see where they, where they want to go, <laughs> uh, what, what they're doing, um, and then, yeah, send them to... The, I think they should get like an experience of the Earth, so I'd uh, maybe send them to a racetrack, they could uh, enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> At least they keep that around. Yeah, yeah I had time. a good time. Learned some stuff more about each other. Everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for, for watching. I uh, hope you learned a little bit more about us. I, uh, I definitely know more about Rashid as well. Yeah, um, me too. So thank you very much. See you.